Norwich at about uh, 10.30 this morning uh, and then we're at the Bambi Nile past Anguilla uh, when we uh, realised we'd lost all our GPS system um, so we had to uh, basically t turn around uh, and head back where we met the electrics guy and he, uh, he actually came aboard and was, gave us a new antenna with a built-in GPS so that helped us uh, fix that problem. So that set us, that slowed us down a bit but we then got off again. Um, now it's just approaching nightfall, it's uh, six o'clock. Um, and just disappearing out of sight, that's like wheel just disappearing behind us and it's out like islands. of wind uh, out of the good uh, nine knots of speed so we can do quite well the weather's due to hold up for the next two or three days so I'll try and do a little uh, day vlog see I'm on my own just finishing my first shift I'm going to go down and put some spaghetti and meatballs on for our first night's uh, meal which is on the cast tonight Okay, so uh, that's day one <laughs> completed. As you can see, we've got a bit of uh, squally weather down there from what you can see on the radar. Um, if we've got um, yeah, quite, a, quite a few clouds. Squally conditions. We've just done. Uh, 230 odd miles on our first day. Uh, we only had two vessels on the AIS, uh, one very distant ship, no other sailboats, no anything. As you can see, uh, still doing around. Yesterday, uh, and that's because the wind was coming in from the east the whole time, and we 
is a big upper hand of what we'd have to have relied in the old days. We did get a, a printed report that was made for us before we came, it gives us a seven day report on the weather each day and some suggested uh, routes which has been very useful, useful as well. Anyway, that's just a little bit about how we navigate the boat and uh, oh, yeah. that's the uh, storm jib testing. sleep this night the uh, wind picked up quite a bit and we uh, managed to get out under full sail um, but the uh, wave direction was uh, not that pleasant so we were slamming quite a lot uh, and then as the night went on at around three o'clock as these things always happen in the night it was quite a loud thud uh, and as you can see from up here uh, we lost our mainsail the headboard that attaches it to the it to the main halyard so what holds the sail up is basically snapped or come come three and the whole main sails come tumbling down um, so we've uh, now just sailing on the jib so we're busy considering our options um, what we're going to do so we do have a try sail so we might try and put that up um, there is we can probably fix this but the sea state and the weather is due to deteriorate over the next next 48 hours, uh, getting to be the worst on uh, Wednesday and Thursday, with it being now um, Saturday, May the 6th, this is the calmest weather we'll have for the next few days. We're already up to maybe seven, eight foot seas, um, wind not too bad, uh, but we're, and we're heading north again as well, which uh, isn't so good, so we're hoping that that'll change uh, later on today with the start days. So, anyway. Obviously these, these things happen with sailing, so we're now just down to one sail at the moment, and uh, we'll decide what to do. Uh, flashing down what's left of the main sail. Uh, before the heavy winds get here. <laughs> Don't be much more to say than that. Beautiful day, the sun will be rising now. First day time, head tap in the boat. And uh, got wind shift later on tonight, I think, so we should still go bloody north. Stop there. 